What's up, guys? Guns are essential here with part three of SHTF Guns on a Budget. I want to talk about a couple of handguns today that I think would uh, qualify as budget guns. This gun here, I've done a review on before, so I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot. It's a Ruger SR9C. Um, it's got a 17 round magazine in it now. If you buy it, it will come with that a 10 round magazine that fits flush so it makes it easier to conceal if that's what you're into. Um, it's a 9mm. Would a 9mm make a good SHTF gun? Uh, I don't know. It depends. It depends on what you plan on doing with it and really in a SHTF world I think that basically a lot of the things that you plan for could just be thrown out the window because it's kind of like one of those expect the unexpected type things. Can you hunt with a, this gun? Well, it's accurate enough. Is it powerful enough? Uh, could you kill a deer with it? Could you kill a hog with it? I'm sure you could. But should you? I don't know. I'll leave that up to you to decide. 9mm is definitely not designed for dropping deer, dropping hogs, anything like that. It is designed for defense against bad guys, basically. And it fills that role pretty nice. It's not as powerful as a 40 or 45 or anything like that, but it's been proven. I'm not going to dispute that it's it's not a not a man stopper because I believe that it is. It's it's fought in several wars and it's proven itself in war, so I'm not going to argue with that. If you do decide to go this route, uh, this is a Blackhawk CQC leather inside the waistband holster. Is actually made for a Glock 26 or a Glock 27, and it fits it really nice. So, if you get one of these, I recommend you get a Glock 26, Glock 27 holster because they are a whole lot easier to come by than a Ruger SR9C holster is. Enough about that guy. My personal pick for SHTF is this guy right here. This is a Smith and Wesson. Model 19-3, which means it was manufactured between 1967 and 1976. It's got a four-inch barrel. It's chambered in 357 38 Special. It came from the factory with wooden grips. I put these Hogue mono grips on. It gives it a much better feel. Fits better in my hand, and it slims it down quite a bit. The factory wood grips are pretty chubby. The action on this gun is just, uh, it's pretty unbelievable. I don't know what the double action pull is on. I've never put it on a gauge or anything, but it feels about like seven or eight pounds. Single action is like probably three pounds. It's a very accurate gun. Um, it's a very powerful gun. Would I feel comfortable dropping a deer or a hog with a 357 Magnum? Yeah, I would, without a doubt. People have taken 357s hunting deer a lot and had great success with it. They don't take a 357 into the woods to hunt a deer because it's the only gun they got. You go out and buy a 357 to hunt deer with. So, so yeah, I trust this definitely a lot more for killing deer and definitely stopping uh, two-legged threats as well. It's a very powerful round, and plus, it's got a little flexibility as far as ammunition goes. You can shoot the 38 Specials or the 357s through it. And that means a lot to me as far as trying to actually find a gun. If I go out looking for a gun specifically for SHTF, which is kind of what I'm trying to do nowadays is
plan ahead because you never know what kind of ammunition you're going to come across, if any, during hard times. So if a gun shoots two different calibers, it's just a big plus in my book. Uh, as far as budget-wise, the 9mm there, I got it out the door, I think, for $411 at my local gun shop. I have seen them at Gainer Mountain for up to 500 bucks. This guy right here, uh, you can find them anywhere between 300 to 500 dollars. It just depends on the condition of the gun, basically. I bought this one off of my uncle for 350 dollars. I don't know if he gave me a deal on it or not. I didn't really care because I like the gun. It's in great condition as far as I'm concerned. And it was his gun, so it's got some sentimental value to me. Plus, I can just I can shoot this thing very well. I can shoot that pretty decent, but this thing right here, man, it's just a tag driver. So this is my pick, SHTF gun, this is what I'm packing on my hip, let me know what you guys think, I'm out of here.